But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people, welcome back to Software Inc and welcome back to our sort of a journey to become, I guess, the best software producer that there is. And we are already worth the most money, so that's a good thing. But last episode, something went wrong for the first time, actually, in this series. Uh, we released High Soundwaves 3, which is an audio tool, which was horrible. Now, I explained in the last episode that this was the first thing that the uh, project management came up with and it might be just an, an issue with project management. It might be that sometimes when you do project management, the first sort of uh, thing that they make or the, or the thing that you sort of edit in their working, working uh, process, it will turn out as a horrible product. And I don't know why this is, I don't know how to fix it, uh, but it might be a fluke. That's basically what I'm saying. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just try to ignore it, try to work, do the best that we can with it, try to at least make it into a, a small profit that it doesn't cost us any money. Um, and we're gonna wait for the next audio tool to release from the project management team. If it's also a bad quality thing, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire the entire team, start over, hire our own team manually, make an audio tool manually, sell this IP, start a new IP, and uh, basically set up our new audio tool system again. Um, but that's only if the next one is bad too. I, I've, I have a pretty good feeling that the, the next one is just going to be a good one uh, because I've seen this before. Now, we also released High Game Creator, which is a great game engine. It's not selling that well at the moment. It has been just released uh, last month. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's a step forward for our plans for the future because I always have been saying in the last few episodes, when we have our good game engine of our own, I want to start making games. And for the more observant people, they might have seen something up here in this little corner over here of the map. That's right, the building is done. I have took some time off screen to finish the other side of the building. Now we still have this, uh, the upside story where there's still only um, temperature management for now. Once we get more teams, we're gonna use this. And this is also the story where we have the bridge in the middle. So that's sort of the gonna be the, the, the cool thing if we take a look at the entire building now, we can see that it has the little bridge in the middle, uh, which is actually pretty darn cool. Now, I also noticed that this one doesn't have any windows. That's because th this one was made before uh, we actually did something. So let's just push in the windows right now, shall we? Uh, and um, that should give it some more personality, whatever you want to call it for a building. but. Well, this is the building, so it's, uh, well, you know what, we're gonna go full speed ahead to make it day so we can see a little bit better. And then I will show you the building and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hire some gaming teams because it's already set up to have a few gaming teams in there and start working on the games with the game engine that we have. Now, let's take a look at it. So it's basically the same thing on the S on the other side with a few tweaks and changes. Let's start on the bottom floor. This is just the same thing as the other one. We have a canteen, we have some toilets, uh, we have the outside areas, which we should set up as a lounge, I guess. Um, limit room, let's do a lounge. That's the thing, I haven't set up these rooms yet. So these are both meetings. Uh, these are both meetings. Should we set up the, yeah, we should probably set up the teams that should meet here. So what we could do is we should set up Switch team, uh, and I already made the teams, didn't hire anyone yet, as you can see, zero employees, but I already made the teams and set up HR management, um, like the way I wanted to. And then we have the canteen over here, so let's set up a canteen, and this canteen is used for probably those two teams, yeah. We're just gonna sort of copy the other side, and this is mainly so that people from the other buildings don't come over here, that's, that's basically it. So we have the kitchen over here, which looks the same. Um, whoops, whoops, that's down, we need to go up. And then we have these rooms. So we have a lounge, just like over here. Uh, we have the programmers and leaders and artists, all the same thing. Um, what I have done is for games, you need like six programmers, six artists. And for the thing like game engine and the 3D team, that wasn't really the same, especially the 3D team didn't need artists. They only needed programmers. Now, 
the games are a little bit different in that respect. So what we need to do is uh, I, I set up some more programming tables over here. So we have some more programmers over here. Um, some more offices for, pro well, oh, well, sorry, desks for programmers. And we have separated this section off where we have the new artists uh, sort of layout, which is the same as over there. It's just six artists over here. Now over here, I crammed in a few more um, desks for the artists. We had originally in this space on the other side, we had four places for artists. I crammed in two more, which means that they now have six artists like we needed for the game uh, for the games, which I will show you shortly. And we have the programmers over here, which we, we on the other side, we had eight of them. Uh, we had two more over here in this in, uh, in front of the window. I decided to get rid of those. I decided to just go with two teams of six and six two gaming teams that are even uh, and we don't really need more programmers for what we're gonna do so um, that's basically it so these are the rooms now we just need to set up the team so we're gonna have these rooms by the way I didn't set this as artist because I haven't hired a leader yet I'm not sure if the leader is going to be an artist and if he's not going to be set as an artist that means that he can't pass through this and get to his office that's why I didn't set this as only artists uh, but the artists should work here because this is for only leaders this is for only only for programmers and it's going to be part of the same team this is going to be part of uh let's do two let's do just games one so that's going to be for games one now we're going to have these three toilets uh also be part of uh of gaming team one and then we're going to have the other three and these rooms be part of uh gaming team two so that's sort of the dividends there uh and that's we can now get rid of the room labels which, which looks a little bit blurry uh and that's basically it so the upside already showed that the uh, upstairs it's just uh the all the elevators and then the bridge and the temperature for now uh once we have the new teams th these are going to be uh, the same these are just going to be areas for the teams to sit in and then these big huge ass canteens might come into play because uh yeah we have one canteen for the entire building uh, and one canteen for this entire side of the building and that will definitely help out once we get more teams uh, so we will change this up and get a nice little bridge between them uh, and uh, maybe this will be our operating system area where we have part of it working here part of it working here that could be a thing we could also do two operating systems maybe that we have this entire floor over here for uh, a computer operating system and this entire floor for a console operating system uh, maybe or even a phone I am I'm pretty sure that there's a phone operating system in there uh, f f uh, if we hit a certain date in the in the uh, in the game um, so that's basically it and then we use this middle as a, a lounge and maybe some toilets and all that other stuff but the new side of the building I should say not, not the new building the new side of the building is already done so what we need to do now is hire some people hire some leaders for these gaming engine for these games that we're gonna make so as, as you can see we already have games set up the game teams uh they do the same thing work from 8 to 17 they have a vacation range of three months this basically means that from july to september they can go on vacation uh and they can pick one month to go on vacation from in, uh, within this period otherwise they can't go uh so that means that basically um they will be away in this month um and both HR management are the same for every team, so we're just gonna up, open up games too. So handle wages, handle complaints, hired for six and six, six programmers, six artists, any specializations, preferred age are, is 20, just the lowest possible, that's the way I, how I like it. Salary low, I'd rather have some lower employees and then train them up, uh, then have to pay the full price because mainly in this game at this point, if you pay high prices salary, that means that you get older, older people because they need to be more skilled. Uh, for the high for the high salary and that's just you know i want to get get some young people um i don't know if this is going to be changed though but at this point it is the way it is so education level full six month cooldown i decided to go with a little different setup here six month cooldown four people of the 12 so that's a third of this of the team can leave every six months for three months of training now this is a shorter window and a shorter amount of training i've did this because this is probably a better way of getting the special the specialties of a, of an employees up a little bit more and this this is a more bit more diverse you could send different people out more often uh which will help out hopefully uh with what we're doing so we're going to select both teams i'm going to say you know what you need to be at least 50 percent efficient or proficient or what is it uh specialized or whatever 
in the current field that you're working on. Now, next step, hiring the leaders. Uh, lead, let's go for medium. Let's, uh, they will be a little bit older that way, but they have a better leading skill, which might be uh, lead to better teams, basically. Uh, let's go for, well, we don't really need compatibility. Let's go for compatibility with our first team that we had ever, because that's basically my setup for what I wanted. Um, and let's just see. Um, let's get one with lazy and stressed in the middle. This is pretty good. Optimistic extrovert, uh, very social, is very good for a leader. Fast learner, very good for, for the leaders, the way I tend to use them. Um, and the middle of less lazy and stressed. So you are definitely going to be a leader. Uh, you're going to be the leader of games number one. Where are you? Isaiah Murray, you're hired. So the next step is, let's check it out. Let's see if we can find anyone who's sort of the same as him. Uh, Catherine, uh, ma, ma, ma. can we, okay, these are, these, this is a very sort of, uh, oh, it's Tonya. I was going to say, guy, this is a very, um, very uh, generous and cocky. Hmm. I don't like cocky people in real life, but you know what? This is a very, very decent guy, uh, girl, I should say, to have around. So you're going to be the leader of games number two. Uh, there are you, Tonya Stone, hire you for games number two. Now, let's go to our setup. State and skills should be on. Uh, I, I wish that that would stay on when you leave the game, though. So, games one and two. Games one and two. You both should be changed roles. You should be leaders. Uh, not Well, not leaders only, I guess. You have some design skill, but it's not enough. So, you know what, we'll make you into a programmer. Programming, you know what, let's give you programming and artist, why not? But let's see where you can sort of be better at and then sort of specialize you in that role maybe. Or give you some education, that's also a possibility. And you, the same thing, you are, you are, you can do a little bit of code. But let's do the same thing with you. You can help out wherever it's needed. That's basically what I'm saying. So, you guys both go to educate yourself in HR management and there we go. There we go, they should finish it up and then we should have some guys coming in and at that point we can start working on some games with our great game engine. Um, which we are currently designing number two of it. Uh, this is going to be May 1996. This is the uh, 3D editor audio tools designing it. Two products, 1994 and 1995 releasing. So we got that sort of spread on them, that's pretty good. The 2D editors are sort of our, our best thing at the moment uh, that we have sold. Uh, we are still making this, which is not very important for now. We need to design these other, these other things. Um, 317 active users. This is the new high game creator, so we're not going to delete that. Um, I think we can keep it the way it is. This has, this has made some money. High visuals, is that, what is that? High visuals is our free editor, right? Yeah, that's a great one. High sound waves free, are we marketing that? No, okay, that's a good thing. Uh, we, we, we are not marketing high game creator. It costs us almost the same amount of money as we make from it. So basically that's not the thing that we want. That is gonna hurt our sales a little bit. Uh, we need to take that risk. Can we port it to something? No. Okay, we need to take that risk and once we start using it, it might be that, you know, more people will buy it. I don't know if it works that way with the game engine. To be honest, it's the first time I'm going to make big games in this in this, in this this game. I tend to use to, you know, to, to, to get stuck to the uh, software that I'm making. This is still helping out a little bit. So let's check it out. Um, are we going to sell some decent amount of things uh, with our horrible product? I sure hope so. I sure it's just, I'm, you know, I hope it just sells. We don't have to worry about it, but I don't think it works that way. So where's our horrible product? Our horrible product made, how many sold? So 2,000 something sold. It has sold more than our great game engine, which is a bit disappointing, especially since it released in the same month. So, this made some money in the past month. Still have enough though in the stock and the same thing over here. 
see anything over here. So are we still printing these things actually? Oh wait, I didn't even have a printing facility. Oh, I'm, I'm confusing myself. I have been playing this game off camera a little bit with another save and there I, there I had a huge printing facility. Uh, but we also have some research available, which is video codec, which we definitely want to have. Uh, so we missed out on this one, and that's the only one we missed out on. I want this. Research it. Get our design team in, get our 2D team in, and get our support teams in. That should be enough to get the code and the design and everything ready. Um, let's get this up as a high priority for design so we can get rid of it. I don't want to cancel it because that's going to hurt our business reputation and it's going to give us a penalty. I don't want to dev uh, develop it right now because that means that it's it's not good enough. So... Yeah. So basically what we do, we wait now for our gaming teams to enter the scene and then we can start making games. And that's what I want to see. I hope uh, that we will make some cool games. And by the way, I need naming suggestions for games because I'm terrible at naming stuff. Uh, ooh, look at all these nice little sports cars coming in. Our employees are definitely earning some good good money uh, here. So we have some designing stuff which we don't really want. We want to finish this, that's basically it. The code is already done for the researching stuff, which is good. We have a few designers in the teams. Uh, in the 2D teams who could help out on this um, on this algorithm design but I don't think they have a very good skill in that so uh, yeah so this is the 2D team B who is who are working at night which is pretty cool uh, the night night and day times uh, using different teams to, for that to work. We might uh, get different teams, you know, we might, that's another thing we might do. We might get another game engine team to work at night. We might get another 3D editing team to work at, uh, at night. And it also makes sure that we can make diff uh, more than one product or make, you know, have more workers on the same product. Um, so that's another thing that we could dabble with, uh, with around a little bit. I do think that at some point we need to, when we're starting to make more and more products, we need a more, a bigger support team. Uh, although our support team now is, is not really doing a lot. These guys are part of the support team, right? Yeah, they're not really doing a lot right now. Okay, we need to develop this. Um, so that's done. That's pretty good. Now they need to work on their research, which I definitely want to have. So let's up it to number five. The, the only way, the, the only the designers are working on this. The code is already done, so we don't have to worry about it. That other people, other teams will, work, will be working on it because the code is already done. Um, and we don't really have designers in our in our teams like I uh, sort of That's that's was my choice at the start of the series have a dedicated design team doing this and uh, Yeah, that actually worked out pretty nicely if you ask me uh, Are we selling stuff? Not really the Game engine is, is starting to sell a little bit better but High visuals is already is also selling, but this guy it, it is still selling even though it's horrible. I can't imagine that you want to have to buy that. A day it looks a little bit better. The only thing I don't know is why these trees are are uh, pink. That's a bit of a weird one, <laughs> but I do like the fact that the building is now complete. An employee is stressed. Why? We can't view him. Oh, oh, it's the designer. You're in class. What? You're in class. What? Don't, don't come crying at me that you're, you want to have a canteen if you're in class. You're not even at work. Oh, by the way, now that we have the game teams running, we also should hire some more cooks. Um, so let's hire four more cooks. Let's go to our cook, cooks. We have them over here, so let's hire from 11. One, two, three, four. Uh, probably that's overkill, but you know, we could definitely pay for it, and for now, that's that's totally fine. We have managed IT, man we have free maintenance and IT guys coming in. That should be sufficient. Do we have couriers? No, we don't need current. Come on, think, you don't have a printing facility. That's the other thing I'm probably gonna do. Probably gonna build it over here. Or maybe over here. Yeah, this this would be... Nah, I think this is a better spot because of the parking space. Uh, we're probably going to get a nice printing pot over here. I will probably do that for next episode. Or maybe the one after that. Uh, 
whenever I have the most time, basically, because, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of time to record all these videos, which is a very, uh, which is bad, you know, it's sad. I like recording videos, I like, you know, communicating with you guys and uh, doing this stuff, so that's sad that I don't have the time to always do that, but, you know, for now, the goal was to have a, a video going out every single day of the, of the year, and uh, that's actually still working. From January 1st up until now, there has been a video every single day, except for one day, I think, when I was really sick, and that was a Software Inc. video, but I did get it back. Or was it an Airport CEO video? I don't, I don't remember. But I did get it back with a double upload the next day, so I count that as a, as a video every single day, uh, which is my goal, and... Uh, if it goes this way, I might actually get it, which is uh, amazing. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? Why are you not working? Oh, wait, you're... I'm happy with my benefits. Yeah, you know what? You should be working. You're happy with your benefits. Yeah, you should be working too. Although you're artists, you probably don't have anything else to do. Uh, okay, this is developing really, really slowly. Is our design team that bad in algorithm? Wait, let's check the team team tab. So design. You should be okay at algorithm at, at least. So we might miss out on this video Kodak. Maybe we should make our design team bigger. Uh, where is our design team? I think it's upstairs right here. Yeah, so this is our design team. This is the office for our design team. We don't really have much space to give them more. Uh, what we could do is get rid of this. Get rid of the servers over here. Or or at least put them somewhere else. Um, so if I put the servers somewhere else, and then use this as a sort of a, a another room for design, and make sure that we can have some more designers in here, that would definitely help out with the, with the speed of designing things. And probably the quality, but that would take some time. Although, all of these designers are also gone, it seems. So where are they going? Design. You're in class. Or on vacation. Yeah, that's that might be another reason why all these guys are gone. You know what? I'm gonna try the same thing on the uh, design team, which I did do on the gaming team. Um, which is HR management. And you guys, not 12. You guys are gonna set to... Uh, six and send two guys away for for three months so we can sort of spread it out the, spread out the education a little bit more uh, so you guys gaming engine are you are are you already here where are the leaders of the game of, of the uh, games oh we already have a gaming team we already have a gaming team in one and gaming gaming team two okay that's pretty darn cool didn't even see it. Let's just get rid of this a little bit. Um, you're still making money, so we can do this. We can sort of get rid of this or like that. Because we need some room. Because we're going to make some teams. and that, uh, Well, we're going to make some games. And that's probably going to be the, the last thing we do in this episode. So let's set up some stuff. Um, you know what? What I'm going to do is the end of this episode is going to be... Me stating which which games we are gonna make, uh, which genres, and you can come up with some good cool names, and we will try. If if someone comes comes up with cool names, then we can get them into the next episode. And next episode, we will actually start developing them. So let's check it out. We have Game Engine One. Uh, uh, sorry, we have Games Team One and Games Team Two. And I already explained that I want to have one team working on uh, RPGs, adventures, and uh, probably FPSs. And the other one is going to be simulation, sports, and RTS because I think RPG and adventure games are sort of uh, in the same development area. FPS is maybe not, but you know we have to put it somewhere. And the simulation, sports, and RTS games are more like uh, hard on programming and stuff like that. So I think that that is um, that might be in the in the same development area more than RPGs and adventures might be. So, I'm gonna have Gaming Team 1 doing RPGs, Adventures, and FPSs. And we're gonna start with an RPG. So I need a name for a R cool RPG game. And Gaming Team 2 is gonna do Simulation, Sports, and RTS. Now, you know what? Let's start with a uh, simulation. You're playing one. Uh, let's start with a simulation game on the Gaming and uh, gaming Team 2. Uh, and just, you know, we, we, will, we will work our way down from, from that. 
And uh, so I need also I also need a cool name for a simulation game. And the next episode, we are actually going to set that up and start working on it. So, I, guys, I hope you liked the episode. I hope you guys like that the, the building is sort of starting to complete itself right now. Uh, uh, and I hope you guys still like the series and hope you guys want to see more. If so, please don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel out more than you think. And the same thing goes for sharing your comments, sharing your thoughts. And it's just fun to, you know, get, so that I can react to you guys and see your reaction. That That's basically the best thing about making content on YouTube. And if you haven't, then please consider subscribing because it really helps the channel out a lot more than you think. And uh, it won't bugger you or, or, or annoy you, whatever. Uh, and it also, it, it just it, it makes sure that you won't miss out on a thing. So make sure to do that. As always, I've been Hipbone. You've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.